All right, welcome to another tutorial here on MCWS Productions. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Substance Painter for the older Trackmania titles, Trackmania 2 specifically. As you can see, I have added the car model from Mania Park for the updated default car with the nice tires right here. You can find those models for the car sometimes on Mania Park, uh, Mania Exchange, Mania Park for um, the different skins. So if you look, there's sometimes a template button and sometimes you find the um, the model file in there. You can import the model into Substance Painter. I added the textures for my Trackmania 2 skin made by Ginny uh, in here. Also, Ginny helped me a lot finding uh, out how the system works uh, together with Substance Painter and we were together able to find the perfect values and workflow for this. Alright, so let's get going. As you can see, it is not glossy, that's because I couldn't import the glossiness um, or the, the reflections, the roughness into Substance Painter as well. But you can still work like in the Trackmania 2020 um, workflow. So you can create, for example, a new layer here and just use the roughness to make your skin glossy. And it will come out like this in Trackmania or in Mania Planet, just like this. You can of course set a black mask, change your brush and paint in the roughness effect. So now you have a glossy spark right here. And wherever you want. You can even paint the driver now. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, let's take a look at some of the more interesting parts. How about the tires? So the tires are a bit different from Trackmania 2020 because in the old titles you couldn't use a normal map, which is responsible for the surface um, height differences. But we can still do almost the same. But we have to bake in the normals. So if I activate this right here, you can see I added custom tires with one of my materials I have. I can go to the side by side view with the 2D channel and move this, for example, to the side. I can see, get a different tire right here or this one, for example. And I can use this little square right here to set the center of scaling. So now I can scale the tire in itself to fit in the space. Also as usual with, with such materials you can change different aspects of it and customize them to your likings or you paint them just in. But here we go. So we are currently in the material view. But you can switch to different channels. So we're gonna switch to the base color channel. And you can already see this is now baked into the base color. Why? That's because we used a baked lighting environment filter. So I can come here into my shelf, go into filters and use the baked lighting environment filter. You know, can just undock the shelf and just drag it into the layer stack. So now we have this baked light environment. It's essentially the same as here, but I added a mask. So what you have to can do with this is you can set a environment map. You can just search for environment like I did here. Environment, now you get different environments from substance. And I, for example, use the Studio Automotive uh, for this example. You can change the exposure, you can change the height intensity, which is the normal in this case. It's get, it gets converted or treated as a normal as well. Height and normal are slightly different from each other, but this is nothing you have to care about that much. Just keep in mind, if you use a material for the tires, keep height and normal enabled. You don't 
need roughnecks for example or the emissive or the ambient occlusion just color height and normal all right let's switch back to the material view this is how it looks because as i said you can customize it in different aspects like this for example here you can see the seam so make sure you don't get this seam later on you can still fix this in the 2d view still so uh, i'm gonna go into the 2d view here and i keep shift press and now i'm gonna use this to now hold control and now i'm gonna fix the seam as good as possible there we go i have custom tires switch back to base color this is how it will look later on What you have to keep in mind with the back lighting environment is the angle, which is in here. So that you don't get seams in here as well, like this one right here. So here you can see the, the lighting seam. All right, let's take a look at some Illum or Emissive. It's called Illum in the Trackmania games and you can see that I painted some on here. I can amplify this intense the intensity just to give you a better view on it. And I have yeah, I have the post process glare effect activated as well. So now you can see it's glowing. I'm gonna restore this to the default. And put this on max. Now you can see this is glowing gonna put it back to 10 so here's another difference from the trackmania 2020 titles unlike in the current trackmania or in the most recent one you don't use alpha values for the different channels of your ilum but rather grayscale values and here's a mania park post by x-ray j in which he exp explains it and he also posted this chart right here from black to white. So white is self alum, pretty much always on. Um, exhaust heat, front light, brake heat, rear light. And now comes the best thing about Substance Painter. I'm gonna put this on one win on one screen right now. You can still do this over two screens. And I'm gonna go in here. Here I have the layer. I have color and emissive enabled. They work better together. So what I'm gon gonna do is I come here into the emissive, I click on the color and I use this color picker to pick one of these grayscale values. For example, I want this to be the break heat or maybe, yeah, I want this to be the break heat. Exactly. And um, now you can see this is just a grayscale value but now I can come in here and turn up the color and even change the color if I want to and it, it just works like this it just works to be safe in your process I added a black layer over everything because it doesn't override the other channels if I have this like it like this some of you might have seen some bugs in the emissive in the illum uh, on the current trackmania title if the edges are not are kind of anti-aliased and uh, with this you can prevent something like this from happening because black doesn't glow so as i said i added a full fill layer of black below all the other layers i would add to the emissive all right now let's say this skin would be finished. Let's take a look at the export. I created another template for you, which I call Mania Planet. And let's take a look at the channels. So we have two textures, which is called the Diffuse and the Illum. Additionally, you could even add a Drugged Mask, but um, I left that out for now. So if you want to do this, uh, you're gonna have to check 
uh, about the how it, the dirt mask works. I'm pretty sure it's just a grayscale value. So you would have to make a custom channel and then like I have in my template for Trickmania 2020 and use this as a grayscale value. All right, let's take a look. So the base color goes into the RGB value with an RGB source. So here's the base color. And the alpha is the glossiness. And glossiness is a converted map. Initial somewhat of a, you know, inverted roughness. Somewhat, to, to have a better understanding. And for the illum, I put in the emissive, the RGB values from the emissive, so we get the color, and the grayscale uh, value from the emissive, I put in as an alpha value. So it takes the grayscale, black to white, as an alpha. So white would be 100% um, and black 0%. And with the export setting, it will work just fine in the game. What I want to tell you though is for the export, use Delation plus Diffusion. You get the best result out of this. Uh, by now I didn't have any bugs with this as well. As always you can choose different export. You can, if your PC has enough VRAM, you can even export it in 8K. And for the raw export, just go with Targa which is a TGA, or you can go with PNG, and then in the next step, you're gonna have to convert those textures again into DDS format. Uh, in this case, it would be DXT5. So you have the transparency values still in, and the game can, the game can read them properly. All right. You can find all the links in the description, also to the post on Mania Park. And I hope this helped you. And yeah, new videos are coming. Just keep an eye for, out for it when I'm uploading. I hope this helped you. And I say bye-bye until the next time. See ya.